Nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, so you, I read that when you when you auditioned for this role, you were uh, on some painkillers and it went by like a blur. And now that it's all said and done, did the whole experience kind of go by like a blur again? Or? I'm still on painkillers. No. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it was interesting because I I, uh, I injured my back and I came in to, to, to read and was in quite a lot of pain. And I think there's something about literally being in pain that, that helped them to see what maybe I could do with the character. So I kind of sure. had to hang on to that when I was playing the role. Um, because I think Thorin is in a certain amount of pain uh, sure. from the legacy that's left by the devastation of his people, and he takes that pain with him on on the journey. Um, but what's interesting for me about the third movie is seeing a character descend to his lowest point and emerge mm -hmm. victorious and, and be redeemed through it. So, yeah, really a really interesting journey and such a privilege to play. What was the most arduous task on set that you had kind of endured? throughout the experience? I think I have to say the fighting was was always going to be the most difficult thing because the costume and the, the makeup was was so uh, heavy and hot and, and uh, restricting that and, and the, the battle at the end was such an unknown quantity it was unmeasurable we couldn't really train for it because Peter didn't know how much he wanted or for how long True. Um, and it was longer and more more um, energetic than I could ever have conceived so and I see it in the in the last fight of this film. I can see my utter exhaustion, but it's exactly <laughs> what he wanted. It's sure. where he was pushing me to. So um, that that fight is. I can as I was watching it, I was still thinking. I know how I felt. I wanted to vomit every, <laughs> every take. I was just like wanting to vomit. But yeah. Speaking of the fighting, how much training did you do you have to do to especially for this one? Because it's. I mean, the whole thing's almost a one giant fight scene. Yeah, well we trained for about three months before the initial shoot, but when it got split into three movies, the the final battle at the end didn't happen until an, a year later, so mm -hmm. we had to stay in training yeah. for the whole year in between that the end of the shoot and the pickup, so that was, that was tricky. <laughs> trying to stay in shape for a year was yeah. it, that level was tricky. I can't do it for a week. It's, it was a little <laughs> bit like training for a marathon that you didn't know how many miles you were going to have to oh, run. Oh, wow. Peter's got these secret kind of warehouses out in New Zealand with just full props. And yeah. not even just from this film, like with <clears> tons of them. Is there anyone, if you could kind of take a, a stroll through one of those warehouses and kind of put one of those props in your pocket, which one do you think you'd want to walk away with? It's not from a movie, because um, I know he collects a lot of mem movie memorabilia. Yeah. But he's got some some World War Two memorabilia, oh, wow. um, which is pretty extraordinary. Yeah, just anything from the World War Two era, kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> cool. And is there is there kind of one defining moment on you know that kind of sums up your experience on this whole journey that was on set? It has to be the end of Thorin's journey. It's yeah. so vivid in my mind, and I I won't t talk about it too much because it will give the end of the movie away. Sure. But there are certain <laughs> moments in that film which uh, it's as if it happened yesterday and, and I suppose the very final shot that I that I did my last shot of the entire shoot mm -hmm. was so memorable because it was it was that moment in the film which he left the last shot to the last shot sure and and everybody gathered and you know Philippa came over and put her arms around me and it was very very moving yeah well it's good it's good to see that you'll get to start doing characters where people don't see as a was it five foot two dwarf? <laughs> yeah, but it's interesting in the third, in the, this final film, you really don't. I was like, I cu I didn't see any scaling down or up, or yeah. you, know, you really see him in, in a different light in this film. Sure, but, but it will be good to play my own height. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much. It was a great role. Nice to see you. <laughs>